Welcome back, everybody. Ross here, continuing with more Resident Evil 8 Village. And, uh, yeah, there's no map or anything. It, uh, went pretty crazy last time. We escaped Heisenberg's factory. Then we ran to Chris, who explained everything that went on. And we learned that the villain of this game, Miranda, is a freaking shapeshifter. And, as I expected, that was not Mia. Well, I didn't expect that, but... I knew Mia couldn't be dead, but actually, we don't know where Mia is right now, because Miranda replaced her using her shape-shifting powers. Where the crap is the real Mia? And then Chris took Ethan and Rose because he thought Miranda may have infected them with the Mega My Seat that she uses. And considering that Ethan is able to regenerate some serious wounds in this game... Yeah, yeah, he's probably been reinfected with this stronger strain. Then we fought Heisenberg. And finally killed him. And then we met Mother Miranda face to face. Although, wasn't our first time seeing her face to face. And, uh... Then she ripped Ethan's heart out! He, uh, didn't heal from that one. And now we're Chris. Who is apparently working with Umbrella, not the BSAA as I thought. Which is weird. So, one, I guess he has this new Umbrella replacing the old one that's trying to clean up the old messes of bioterrorism. I guess they finally earned his trust. But, like, is he working with both organizations, or has he ditched the BSAA for Umbrella? Because then BSAA choppers came in as we started this segment. Oh my god. And he was like, what the hell is the BSAA doing here? Oh my Jesus. What are they doing? Christ. It looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Make contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. Hey, what does this thing do? Nothing yet. I guess that'll come up store. I guess that will come up in a when we need it. BSAA craft spot. Two guards. <laughs> I can take it. Don't get caught. Got flash grenades. Oh, Louise's house. Okay, that's where we are. Guess there's not going to be much of item hunting with Chris. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. 
That's probably where Miranda is. Let's go. Well, rip this town. God, and we thought Evelyn's mold was bad. Miranda. Okay. Damn it, has blocked. No worries. Need to work around the village. Hey boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. Oh boy. Freaking Christmas! Oh, he's got the night vision goggles. Yes, I am very OCD about my items. Sorry. Enough uh, assault rifle ammo. Is this the way forward? Okay, yes it is. Fuck you, Miranda. Umberize, I need some backup. Oh, wow. Where am I? And here's where Ethan arrived. Oh, this is insanity. So here's the shooty bang bang action part of the game. Fuck you guys. I fucked it. What the fuck? I switch. Reload. Come on. There's huge delay on my stuff. What the hell is going on? Fuck! Jesus! What is this shit? You fuck off! Thank you. 
Oh, are they just gonna keep coming? I've reached the target location. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. Okay, but I can't get a moment to fucking use the locator. Jesus Christ. Oh. I had all this space to work with. I didn't have to stay in the Maiden of War plaza, did I? Well, that's just hunky-dory. <sighs> Got a little crazy. Oh, man, yeah, another explody over here. Can we, can we use this to blow these up, too? Ugh.
Huh. <sighs> okay. That's a lot of bullets, mate. All right. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I come here the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. Yeah, didn't we already read a file that they kind of already figured that out? Five heals, five grenades, one flashbang. Fuckload of bullets. Jeez. 
Okay. Jesus Christ. Huh. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Ew! I found it. It's the Megamycete. Ah! Oh. That's disgusting. Oh, he's not wearing a helmet? Alpha the squad. Wasn't he supposed to be? We located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. Miranda ain't just gonna let us destroy it. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Okay. Never mind. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. The root. Do of not move until I give the order. I know it's too late oh. now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yes, you should have. Yeah. Fucking agreement there. I wonder if it's only now they're having regrets, or if the other members of the team wanted to from the start. But Chris was the leader, and he was like, no, no. I don't want him involved. And it's like, you should have known better, Chris. Like, oh, that thing is... Ugh. Right. This must be Miranda's lab. <clears throat> Subject name Donna Beneviento. Cato affinity favorable. Brain functions normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she's no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal-producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamycete. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her caddo among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel for Eva. Now we know that other name on the rose flask we're about. Heisenberg. Carl Heisenberg. Affinity incredibly favorable, brain function normal. Has electric organs similar to that to the electric ray. Narke... Uh, Japonica. I don't know how to pronounce that. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system. Can therefore pass control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields which is also used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Eva. Lady Dimitrescu. <clears throat> Subject, Alcina Dimitrescu. Cato affinity most favorable. Brain function normal. Regeneration rate incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means increased body size. 
Note. Due to hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain, maintain her regeneration. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Eva. Is it Eva or Eva? I should look at the back of these books, too. There's... Salvatore Moro. Affinity low. Brain function? Surprisingly low. The Caddo has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with a regular cell division causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects. Unfit vessel for Eva. Big man. Hers is all fancy. His with the mechanical motif. And hers is a pretty normalish book, but a fancy one. Ugh. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Can I break it more? That's the same picture for... Miranda was one of the creators of Evelyn. So she does have connections to the... Well, the connections? Yeah, that's also the Evelyn experiment. And Mia worked for them as well, so... Oh, fuck. Okay. My brain is going a million places right now. I'm gonna hold off until I finish looking at all this before I go too crazy. What is this, fishermen? They find this crap in the ocean? Dear Miranda, my apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I've always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. This is Spencer. I was inspired by your research. To think. One could transform a human by infecting them with another organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with the knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person, while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments in the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution. The progenitor. A virus found in Africa, it Spencer. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella. Just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about, I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday, too. You taught me so much, and for that I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Spencer, here. No way. Miranda is the first to do this kind of crap. She did experiments with mold long before, and that's what gave Spencer the idea of fucking around with viral agents. 
Yep, Evelyn. There's Mia. Is that... What's with the, the guy with the distorted head? What uh, happened when this picture came out? And is, is that Miranda, the woman in the middle to the right of Evelyn? So yeah, they were on the same team. My Ava, it has been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then. But now I can bring you back to life from the Mega My Seat. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Mega My Seat regulator, the giant's chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Mega My Seat. The ceremony can finally begin! After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again. And that's when I found it. The Mega My Seat, completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Mega My Seat breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Mega My Seat. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Caddo. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA. But all they created was another defect. Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There would be some interference. But I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Ava, I have waited too long to see you again. Oh shit, Mia! Show me your hands! Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Delta's her only site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. Yeah, is this gonna leave her? You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And they didn't care. So long yeah. as we were. Romania was a bad pick, Chris. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is gone. I couldn't save him, but I can save Rose. I didn't realize opening that would do a scene. It's not safe here after all. There might have been more stuff to read. He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Oh boy. Any more secrets, Mia?
Did he regenerate his fucking heart? What's going on? And it's <laughs> Evelyn. So it's there. Fuckery is this. Killed Ethan in the there, intro. That's that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Where are you? I'm so confused. Now do you get it? Your whole body is nothing but mold. You can't ever see your family again. Shindro, you bitch. Will save Rose. Wouldn't Miranda be able to tell that Ethan was all mold? Or the Emetomycete is the experimented version. It's different from the original. So maybe Miranda can't control that shit. Since it's been tampered with into a different strain. So yeah, the Evelyn mold is different. <clears throat> this is the Megamycete. Hers is the Emutomycete. 
that the connections bioengineered. Using samples of the original and Eva's blood. I'm still confused as fuck, though. My theories, though? All out the window. I have no fucking clue what's going on, where this is going anymore. This is insanity. At last, he awakes. Duke, I honestly forgot about you. My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. You should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is. Falling apart. Yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. Fine, keep your fucking secrets. I owe you one. Mr. Winter. I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. I have to be. I gotta go. Okay, he's got all the shit. Okay, Ethan somehow got this somehow. Cuban cigar. Nice. Ugh. to the ceremony site to fin finish this. Where'd your horse go? As you wish. So was there really just not enough fish in the game, but enough of everything else? That's such a dick move. Your journey nears its end. How about some reckless spending to finish it off? Handgun greatly increases power. V61. That's what I currently have, right? Yeah. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. This may be our last meeting. Be sure you have all you need. <laughs> Can I really call that a handgun anymore? Mm -hmm. What? 
Ah, it's fine. All finished. Please, be well. Thanks. All right. Let's do this. It's game time, Miranda, you bitch! I just remembered something. Oh, it's gone. Wasn't there like a locked chest here? And there was like no clue as to what opened it? That's where this went, wasn't it? Ah, uh, dick move that it's not here now. I just remembered it. You butthole. I can't run. Maybe it was in one of the other paths. I think that's where it was, though. Like, I just... My brain was like, wait. Wasn't there something you never figured out how to open? I was like, oh. I totally forgot about that. Why couldn't if you remembered it when I came here with the crank? Damn it, brain. Ah. A little late to the party. Out of my way. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Uh, little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. Eva, is that you? Still Rose. My power is leaving me. Rose. Miranda. Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. She's like, bitch, I forgot your heart. Give Rose to me. Now. You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Get her now! Thanks, Chris. I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled! Mother Miranda. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious ones. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with true So now you can die peacefully. Do not let him get away. Ah, she combos. Please, Mr. Winters, stop struggling. <laughs> I shall finish this. Ow! Like, she's just straight up using fucking magic. So that happened. I got comboed. 
bitch. She's doing something different. She's got several forms. Fuck you! Flying form sucks. Why do you eat? Sure, you have no need of us now. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter, you psycho. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is. I will see my hopes for you. Don't resist. <laughs> She's a hell of a final boss compared to Evelyn. Evelyn sucks. Bitch. Still stuck. Cease this 
Problem might be you, Miranda. You're not capable. I don't think she'd like that. To ensure I never see you. Let's keep shooting. Is that it? Ding dong, the bitch is dead? My daughter! My Where the hell is Rose? Because we saw, like, the molt take her at the start of the fight. Oh god, she was inside of that? Rose. Is it still Rose, though? Face reveal? Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. Chris. Ethan. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. His hand, his other hand starting to calcify. Ew. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll pull this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. Can you tell yourself? Oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. Damn. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. I guess even he can't live without a heart. He could go temporarily without it, with his crazy fucking powers, but. So Ethan's a fucking molded, huh? The most durable one ever. Wait! 
Get moving. We have to get clear. No, we can't go. Not without my husband. Sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's he going on. He fought to the on. end. Where? That's what he did. What was that? I told you to sit down. Escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. Oh, what do sex mocking a bullshit's happening now? SAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? What? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. What? Someone's gotta pay. What the hell has happened to the BSAA? So I heard some people theorize that Seven was the start of a new trilogy, and with that ending, I think it might be so. With New Umbrella taking over, and trying to clean up the mess that the original company started. And now there's some serious corruption in the BSAA. Maybe O'Brien shouldn't have stepped down, even if he did do some fucked up shit. He did it to expose corruption. I just don't know what to say. Like, I'm trying to process everything that just went the fuck down. inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, my tears. Of you. Only 
he said, look at this, I was expecting some deuce ex machina shit for Ethan to somehow get through all of that. And then it's like, no, the BSAA is employing zombies? What? So, Ethan's gone, huh? A Resident Evil protagonist has never died before, right? I mean... Ugh. Does Piers and Six count? Because it was really Chris's story. And Piers was just kind of like... I don't know. Piers was just kind of there. Does Steve from Code Veronica count as, like, a true protagonist? This would be the first time, like, a main, main Resident Evil protagonist was killed off. Side protagonist, you could count Steve and Piers. But Jesus, this game... I still don't know what to say about the way. What the? I still have a few more questions. Like, how the hell did Ethan being a molded work? Well, I wasn't paying attention to these side pictures. I'm just like, what story are these telling? Cause I'm just over here short circuiting while my brain makes dial up noises. So, when Jack attacked Ethan in that prologue of Seven, he killed him. But then if he just killed him, why in the world would he sit... Ethan down at the table and try to bring him into the... F Although... Evelyn used the mole to rebuild him and bring him back. And she was the one calling the shots. I guess it was originally just like, we're going to dispose of him. But then it turned into, a. Uh, Evelyn's like, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I want him. Let's do something crazy. And that started the main game of Seven. But then... Ugh. If Ethan was practically molded by that point, wouldn't if Evelyn just had full control of him anyways? I'm feeling some slight inconsistencies here. Oh, is this, was, is this the story of when Miranda appeared and started? Was she that plague doctor? She used her developed caddos to experiment. And the powerful regenerative powers were able to bring a dying or a girl who just died back. 
And she's like, yeah, no, we got this miracle cure, dude. And cure even death. Y'all yeah, be healthy as hell if y'all get it. Line up for your vaccines. And then she started sticking people with lichen parasites. Oh, man. And her ex original experiments with the mold are what eventually inspired Spencer to create Umbrella. So the Umbrella logo resonates from originates from this place. But not even Spencer or Miranda knew what that symbol originally meant, huh? They just found it in the ruins or whatever? So what is those ruins? Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? No, he can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Okay, then you can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is cute. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not Mia. Oh, is that Rose grown up? week. I have a lot of tests coming up. Yeah. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. She's wearing his jacket. Yeah, I found her. Where else? Today of all days. We have a situation. You're needed. Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. You need to keep it together, Rose. Fuck this guy. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. Got a clear shot, so... She's got people on her ass watching her 24-7, no doubt, almost. With fucking sniper rifles trained on her, too, probably. Man, poor kid. I would like to know what the extent of her powers are, though, beyond just regeneration. The father's story is now done. Okay, oh, so ten and a half hours, about. Village of Shadows unlocked. Extra content shop, concept art, figures, challenges. Complete challenges to receive completion points to... Okay, so it's the same system as RE3 Remake. The following movies have been added to the bonus menu. Village of Shadows full version, creating Village of Shadows, level design, a village, visual development, visual production. Can I get the following weapon from extra content? Okay, WCX. 
You have completed the following challenges. Not liking this. Four lords. That sucked. No strings. Fish out of water. Up yours. Temporary measures. Iron giant down. Root of the matter. Great dad. Best dad. Crafter. Padron. Thetty thief. Repair. Treasure hunter. Hunter. Ball rolling. When you gotta go. Geologist. Push off the shove. Trick shot. Strategist. Medium rare. Leader of the pack. Butterfingers. Down to earth. Strip miner. Head trauma. Slayer. Mathematician. Cynic and gunsmith and villager. 92,010 points. All right. That does it, everybody. It's over. The father's story has ended. That is the nightmare of this small Romanian village and the horrible things that lived in it. I still am not 100% sure what to say. Like, Jesus, the ending is like, what? 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 Just what after what? After fried brain cell after fried brain cell after... Like I said, my head is just like dial-up noises right now. Just processing everything. So, that was a hell of a journey. Well, until whatever we play next, you all have a good evening. Watch out for mold, and take care of yourselves, everybody. Good night.